Wow. Man's there and <laughs> I can't get through to dude. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Yo, bro. Yo, I'm right by Barclays, but I'm no, opposite. No, no, no. I'm that no, west. Can you see that west? Across yeah, the road, yeah, across the road. I'm there yeah, by yeah. the lights. Are you in a silver whip? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. how would you turn around here? Alright, I'll come down. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Come on. Yeah. Hey, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Up, bro. You good? What's happening, man? Bro? I'm here, bro. Eh? I'm out here, my guy. Come on, my dude. We say, man. I'm here, man. I'm here. I'm good, man. How are you? Well, I'm all right, bro. I just yeah. going mad. That's abs, man. If you know, if you know everyone in football, if you know me, then you know abs. Come on, man. You know we do. You know. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, I met him. What? How long has it been, abs? Bro, man, it's what's that for? Twelve years. Wait. I met him twelve yeah, years. When 12, I first, years. when I first stepped in the game, this boy asked him if League One's hard. When I was going to make my debut, he told me, yes it is. <laughs> Talk about going into your debut with confidence. <laughs> and ever since then, I can't get rid of him. You know, so yeah, that's bro, man. Hello. Hello. I'm right here still. Hold on. Oh, you might call me running in there now. <laughs> oh, that's that. What's that, man? What's that, man? This is the next What's that, man? Oh, yeah. Maddie, yeah. the second time you didn't bring your gym clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. The second time. You know, someone's got to do the behind the scenes to make sure everything's right. <laughs> It's down there, you know? It's down there, bro. Last time we're out in the field playing football, but you know, there's two sides to the, the works. So, we're in the gym today, you know? Show you guys how we get down in there, man. Mm. So, yeah, let's move. Yeah. I've never seen someone go to the gym. And turn the room But we move. <laughs> The boy, I said it in episodes, the boy always complains, but he can do it, he can do it all. So, when he complains, I just ignore him. Someone can start there. Who wants to start on the second Okay then, so don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't God talk. gave it to me. God talk. gave it to me. It wasn't because of this yeah. place. Yeah. This place is bullshit. Rubbish. Yeah, that was lovely, man. Great start to the day, you know. Um, no, I'm joking. Now, good start to the day. What we're about to do, um, about to go check my brother's, um, one of my close friends. He's got an academy called the Palmer Foundation, so about to go check it out, show some love, you know, to the youths that's training, getting ready for their pre-season. So let's move, man. Let's move. Mm. So, why are you 
Why do you like work so hard in like the gym and all that stuff there, man? You know what? Yeah, um, it's 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 before when I was younger, I uh, it was about working the body. I used to want to work hard um, because of um, football, you know, and want to outwork everybody. And I've just that mindset has just developed, and now it's yeah, I'm still working the body, um, but more so I'm working my mind now, you know. I feel like when you work on, on your mind, things become easier, you know? And, and challenges you face in life become easier. So everything I do is, most things I do is always a willpower challenge to me. You know, it's always a willpower power challenge. So that's why I work so hard. So things become easy to wrap it in a nutshell. Yeah, listen, man, I feel like this is why I go, I go, I go into games confident. I feel like um, when you've got a good routine, for example, today I've woke up, I've said my prayers, I've read for an hour, you know. I've been gym, you know. I've got a good routine. So when you come against challenge, you're confident when you come against challenge. For example, if I go into a football match, I'm confident knowing that I've put in the work Monday to Friday. There's gonna be no there's gonna be no no nerves like or no in terms of me not sure how I'm going to play. I I, I don't really have any of that because I've put the groundwork in and, and when you put the groundwork in it breeds confidence, you know what I mean? It breeds confidence and it also breeds consistency, you know? So I feel like a lot of these these young boys, they need to they need to get a routine that works for them. You haven't got to copy my routine, everyone's different, you know? But you need to get a routine that works for them, you know, so you know you know how, how to how to prepare for not even just games for whatever challenges you face in life you know but you'll you will be ready if you have that routine you know and a key part of that routine is is working on yourself you know um you have to work on yourself more than more than you work on your job you know that's a fact Yeah, my bro. You're on. You're on. You're, you're, we're live, you know. You're on the camera still. <laughs> I'm on the way to Dartford. Yeah, yeah, because that's what I'm calling for. The venue changed. Yeah, I'm on the way there now, my bro. How far are you? Uh, Twenty-five minutes. I'm kind of near your area, isn't it? Hey, that's that's my big brother, yeah. <laughs> He's so funny, man. He was all telling me yesterday, yeah, make sure you don't catch me on the camera. I was like, yeah, man, don't worry, you're not gonna be on the camera, bro. He's gonna be on the camera still. What's happening? What are you wearing, bro? Huh? No, it's, it's raining. I'm on the fence, gave me kicked. Let me park up. You good though, yeah? Good, bro, yeah, I'm coming by the way, yeah. yeah? yeah <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Alright, so right now we're at um, Palmer Foundation. Oh, so let's go to show some love, man. Hey, this is the guy, the legend, man. I'm not the legend. That's this the is legend. the legend, man. This is the legend. No, honestly, what he's doing is so sick, bro. This is the What's legend, bro. Ricardo, bro. Palmer Foundation, man. Here he is, bro. I've been speaking highly of it, man. It's one of them days, bro. He's well, busy in that, so we're gonna catch up later on, no, man. Bro, I know you're running around in that, innit? <laughs> you're running around. Bro. You got a million things to do in that. Bro, bro. Get set up in there, bro. All the best. All the best. All the best. All the best. I'm mutual today. I'm mutual today. I'm mutual. Team. Larry and Ricardo. But I'm mutual. <laughs> hey. Get his face, get his face on that. He knows they can't put on this one. That's, that's, that's my brother, man. <laughs> Don't worry, man. He's going to be on it. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> All I'm saying is that, guys, look, you guys won last week. I don't see why you shouldn't win again this week. It was a blowout last week, you know? Yeah, so, thank you. Montel, lead your boys, bro. Get out of my change room, man. Get out of my change room. Look at him. No choice. Mm. Is this enough? <laughs> no, 
What is the other one, Cam, man? You do What hands have you got? I've got this. Don't worry, I've got this. These beautiful women, look at them. Beautiful women. <laughs> I started off sharp, I can't lie to you. They come at the blocks quick. Last week, um, they came at the blocks slow and they found themselves 3 0 down by this point. Ooh! It's gonna get tension, huh? Everyone's there. It's meant to be a friendly, but these guys are at it together, like. This one's feisty. Right. Yeah. What's the score, 0 0? So if you need a goal, <laughs> you know it's a cool. My phone's not rang yet. If they need to go, my phone will ring. Half time. Montel, apologise to bro, Matt Dean, no man. He's an he's order from the ends, man. Apologise to him, bro. Apologise, man. Yeah. What are we doing? The ref made the decision, and that's the end of it. Literally. That's Finish. just it. It's finished. Why are people still walking back up? Do you know, even the refs. They've done us a favour. And one of them happens to be one of our good friends. That's that it. you think you can have these conversations. You're little boys. Don't you don't understand that? Don't forget your manners. You know what? Had you got from primary school up till now with your men, act accordingly. Don't come here and violate. Don't do that. The second half, the game's been a good game. We're, We're gonna kill good. the game because he made one decision. Fuck it! There's been how many other bad decisions in the game? How many? This is Last time, this 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 shoot was running them in the channels and that. You're gonna go to the other side. <laughs> oh. oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Ooh. Five, hey, hey man's the same. Two. He's the same man that he's the same man you that was. You guys were five two up on aggregate. Now it's six. Come here, come here. Huh? Yeah, Larry's team's winning. Four 0 to Larry's team and Ricardo's team. I'm really supporting. Hey, he was here last week. Don't lose. Big baller. He don't lose. He said it. He said it. I told you. Tactical masterclass. That's called a tactical masterclass. Tactical masterclass. Ninety five. Hey, baller talks talking. Let them talk. Let them baller talk. I walked in that change room and there was a focus, you know what I mean? So it was in and out. He said, don't concede, stay in the game. And once you stayed in the game, it was a wrap from there. Come it, was a, it was a wrap from there. Facts. Special shout out to the two centre halves. Aye, aye. Yeah. 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 Aye, what a game that was. That was a mad game. Um, yeah, that takes us into lunchtime. Gonna go get um, some food at um, a, friend, a friend of mine restaurant. You know, and yeah, just go and show some love again. You know how it goes. You man, bless you. Yeah. So Ricardo, he um, he set up a camp. So when players are off season during the summer, they finish their season. He set this camp up so they can get fit. It's like a three week camp for them to get fit and and ease themselves back into pre-season at their clubs, you know what I mean? So after the camp, everyone will go back to their football clubs and resume pre-season. I think it's just incredible what he's doing, man, because the turnout is terrific and it does. Let's go, let's go inside, man. Oh. It's like soul food, man. Chicken, waffles, um, mac and cheese. You know the food we like, man. You know the food we like. Desserts, you know. for bringing something like this to, to, to the end, you know, so it's good. Cool, but I wanted to tell them a little bit about, about this project that we're working on, man. Um, you know, by the grace of God, it's going to grow into such a larger piece, such a larger body. Yeah. Um, you know, that, and really, by the grace of God, serve a lot of people, help a lot of people. Um, and just man, get to the root of a lot of um, 
the root of a lot of issues, man. And just yeah, man. That's it. Uplift, uplift, empower, strengthen, teach. That's it. Man, a lot of things, a lot of things, man. That's so, it, man. That's, yeah. The ultimate, ultimate purpose, man. I feel like this is the the biggest thing we can give back to to the world. You know, um, we've soaked up a lot over our lifetime, and we're in a position where it's time to give it back. And this is the way we can do it in the biggest and the best way possible, man. You know. So I'm really, I'm really excited for this project, man. I'm really excited, you know. Oh, that's um, one of my, my brother, my brother-in-law, in fact. Um, yeah, we're just working on a project. It will be revealed real soon. But yeah, obviously, this now is just like some me time, you know. Check my emails, have my little one, two little meetings, you know, just like some downtime for me before, before we crack on again. So, yeah. And I thought, yeah, what a place to do it. Kick a munch. Sometimes you know, like, unwind and just sometimes just be at peace with, with yourself, man. You know what I mean? So it's, it's good. It's good. How's it going since you reopened up? Um, it's been going well. Um, we've obviously been revamping. So when we first opened back up, like the month before, we started redecorating the venue. We decided yeah. to brighten it up. You it know, looks, our usual good. crowd, it was like, you know, a lot of parties, a lot of like big bookings and stuff. Yeah. It's really kind of dark. So now what we're trying to do is make it more vibrant. You know, we've got the clientele now. We're trying to bring something different to Deptford, mm. um, stand out a bit more and set a bit of a higher level um, for the area. So when people come here, they feel like it's a place they don't have to travel out to go to, you know, like you would go into yeah. the sword ditches and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, man. New menu and that. New menu, new flavour shishas, which is good than that, you know what I mean? Right, that was kick a munch. You know, it sorted me right out. So now let's go to Osbury Estate where I grew up, man. Let's go. Mm. Got about some move, you know. They will let you through, bro. No one wants to crash, bro. Go. There we go. Where are you? I was behind this car to begin with. <laughs> was I behind this car to begin with? Was I behind the blue car? Was I behind the blue car? So I only cut one car up. Oh my days. Um, so right now, I'm at, so right now, we're in um, Osbury Estate, you know. Um, I grew up on this block here. I don't know if you can get it. Here on the top floor, eighth floor, 172 Wendover. As you can see, it's all mad lifting that. It's crazy, man. Look at this. Look at this. This playground will be closed until further notice. Look how they left it. And this is what I say when I say. Like Aylesbury, like growing up, looking back now, it was just like the land of nobody's. Like, like nobody gave us the attention. Nobody came to Aylesbury. You know, they touched, they touched Peckham, they touched Campbell, they touched Bermondsey, but they didn't, they didn't really, they didn't really come to Aylesbury to do anything in, in the in the community. Yeah, man. In terms of like little things like football, football clubs or community schemes or. Um, you know what I mean? We had a youth club, but that ended by the time I was 10 years old. So when growing up in my teens, I didn't even have a youth centre to go to. I felt like, yeah, they didn't, really, they didn't even rate our street credibility. So everything from top to bottom, you know. I used to go to school, <laughs> repping, repping an area, and I come back and, yeah, I was nobody really. <laughs> Chill hair. I remember we used to chill here till late night. So I'll play football. When I finished playing football, all of the boys, like all the men them, were just here just chilling, chilling, chilling. And it'll get late. It'll get late. And I remember like one time, one time like my my dad used to, because I lived on the top floor there, but the block's big, my dad used to like come down and see if I'm here. And and one time he's come, looked out the window. And he's come down and I'm with all the boys, like all the men and that and just started licking me in front of <laughs> in front of my friends and that like, all my friends are laughing and that. And he just dragged me home, like dragged me back upstairs. Like 
Mad memories, man. Mad memories when you come here. I remember like two of my close friends lived there, Godfrey and Richard. Um, yeah, it's crazy. How's Bristain, man? Hey, the land of the nobodies, but I tell you what, we became somebodies. We moved. Right now we're on the way to um, Stork, man. Big homie Emeka patented it for us, you know. Um, sick restaurant, man, in Mayfair. I feel like, um, why can't we have our own, our own culture up in Mayfair? And um, a lot of these restaurants, like the Novakovs, they're very good restaurants, but um, these, these young footballers that go there, it might be a lot of attention for them. So it's like a safe haven, Stork, you know, where you can just go and you can enjoy your meal and still be up in Mayfair with your friends without being disturbed. So, yeah, we're on the way there now. Kind of thin, because obviously, Emeka's last minute they'll come, but he always comes through, you know? He always comes through for man. So yeah, we're heading there now, man. We'll get there on time, don't worry. You lot come, what's wrong with you lot? Oh. Come, man. Obviously, yeah, out with my brothers, you know, this is the family, man. These are, it's always good to come break bread with my brothers, man. We're all on the same journey, trying to push one another, you know. And it's sick that we come out and enjoy each other's company at the end of a long week, you know. We reflect on how everyone's week's been, what we can do to make it better, you know what I mean? Going into the next week. It's brilliant, man. It's brilliant, man. My brothers, man. We've actually known each other for like 25 plus years. It's crazy. It's no, like everyone on the table. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's still here. It's a long time. It's still me high. Yeah. I know. The journey's been together, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's now, bro, it's like this the man was really, really zoom. Yeah, That's for you for tennis. Shake it. Shake it. Let me deliver the wine. Yeah, man said I want wine. Let me know the wine. Change. Get to shake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake it. Smell it. What's that do? No, it's just part of the etiquette. Let's do this. I've been, I went crazy this weekend, it was self development by the way. Is it? Crazy. What happened? Let's break it down. Just, I'm just man, just a new territory in there. Mm. So it's just like. Not, not, as, a not as sweet. Uh, it's not as strong. It's much sharper. Yeah, yeah. This is sharper, but it's yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you remember Goffey's first alcohol cabinet? <laughs> How it, evolved, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. how it evolved so quickly. That thing went from spurned off to 942 quick, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, Remember that thing? Um, what's it? What's it? What's the, what's the wine? Blossom Hill. No, no, but do you want to Blossom Hill. Is that Blossom Hill? You know, you know, you know, first wine cabinet. Yeah. You, know what, you know, I snapped it, yeah, thinking, jeez, man's leveled that up. That was bad. See the way I took an L on that, yeah? That was bad. You do, you know? Think about this. This is what Search crazy bottoms and whatever I find, I find in it. Like, you don't know how to make in front of the camera. I, I, I do. Let me do it. 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 This is a pan African restaurant, and what we try to do is take our own take, a modern take on North African food. The first part that you have is beef kachinka. Kachinka in Ghana, in Sia, they will see the seal powder or seal varnish comes from West Africa. So that's Ghanaian soya, yeah? This is Ghanaian. Ghanaian, they say, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Hey, Ghanaian, do their thing. Nigerian one's the chicken one. So, so the Nigerian is soya, in Ghana they say kajinga. Oh, okay, so kajinga. Was, where's this tiger prawns from? And then, tiger prawns is from Scotland. You get three pieces. <laughs> 
Man says Scotland. It's meant to be from Africa, bro. It's meant to be from Africa, but it's from, it's, it's from here. Yeah. But we try to add our own take on it. Okay, okay, so okay, once, okay. Once you in the centre, you will see it's got a jam. Yeah. So Scotch bonnet, we know Scotch bonnet is from oh, okay, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Give that little kick, little spice to it. Oh, okay. And then you have the three pieces of the king prawns. Yeah. And then you've got a little salad, chow chow salad in the middle as well. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Are you, not, are you not deep in the flavours? Do you free take a Are you not deep in the flavours? Hey, this is a Nigerian restaurant, isn't it? Pan, Pan African. I suppose. That's Scotland, but take it out, man. <laughs> it's not Scotland, it's still. He's even got content, he's even dropping his content now. Look, he's changing, he's changing his thing. He spoke to someone. Right? See, yeah. it's evolved. This is what he's doing now. He's doing videos with it now. Oh, spoke to him. Yeah. Did you change it? No, his gram is the best. It's unreal. He's even got little videos and that in there now. His thing is mad. Man, like big. I'm not gonna lie to you. See his gram. I need a gram it's that looks like that. Yeah? Gotta enjoy yourself, man. Have it. Have, have a drink, you know. I'm a big man, so sometimes I'm allowed to drink. And it's the off season as well, you know, so why not unwind with your with your brothers, man? You know? Hey, they were they were they, they were cussing me on Baller Talk saying I don't know how to hold a wine glass. No, no, no. That's how you hold it. Hey, hey, man, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the anchors. <laughs> they were saying I wanted to break the wine glass, I said I was holding no, it like this. Like, like, no, it's like this. Talk is saying I was holding it like this. No, it's like this. No, it's cool man, I got this man. I got this. You know, elegance. This is this is this is gonna be hey, this is gonna be an expensive game. If you don't call somebody by their full name yet, it's a shot. Do you know how expensive this game is? Well, as in if I say Joseph Bagaji. No, if you don't, if you can, you can say Larry, we'll give you Larry or Joseph. But if you go Jar, yeah, okay, it's a shot. Hey, but please, 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 please. So you can't say G. I can't say Fem. Can I say Femi? Yeah, Larry. Oh, yeah. Yes. Larry, because you might say yo G or yo Fem or yo Lau. So it's yeah, it's unfair on him. But for us, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yo, yo Larry, what you say? So should we use Samuel? Samuel is a no, madness, you know. Man's gonna fail if I have yeah, yeah, that, and you're not allowed to. Every, 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 every time we interact with each other, we've got to address each other by our name. I feel my life changing, you know. <laughs> I'm in stock. Mm. Thank you, my bro. Fire mouth took a L. Can I get a shot yet yeah, of Don Julio? So, gents, this is your main course. This is our most popular dish, the jerk. As you can see, you've all chosen the jerk today. So and it's is, not chicken, it's what? It's poisson. Poisson. Like poisson. poisson. Yeah. So you get a whole baby poisson. We try to keep it simple, because jerk and everything is very well known. So it's just a carrot puree, baby, baby uh, poisson, and then you get two sweet corn roasted. It's one of our best sellers in there. That's lovely. And it's designed by one of the chefs in the kitchen. Even with, yeah, it's, it never changes on the menu. Our menu is seasonal. So we tried this to do, one doesn't come off because yeah, I've been having it for a long we time. We tried to do bits of Africa, bits of the Caribbean, the Bice Club. But the jerk is amazing because everybody comes here and doing a safe option. The jerk spicy, sweet. You know what you're going to put in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in. So enjoy. Thank you very much, man. Right, that's me, boys. I need to eat this food. I hope you guys enjoyed um, Day in the Life of Femi. Last 24 hours with me. It wasn't 24 hours, it was about, I don't know, but yeah. We move anyway. Um, that's as authentic as it gets, man. Uh, that's what I'll get up to. So I hope you guys um, get insight and enjoy watching, man. Make sure you um, do all of them, them things on YouTube. Man. Oh.